Dijue is a butcher shop, a supper club, uh, a, a charcuterie, like dry cured meats, yeah. specialty kind of a, a butcher shop. Yeah. Um, that hopefully real soon will have their own brick and mortar building here in Austin, Texas as a restaurant. Cool, cool. I heard you sold out on your BLT sandwiches at Farmer's Market. I think Jesse <laughs> was saying that they sold out this morning and... If they they sold 60 in an hour and a half, yeah, that's 90 yeah. BLT or that's a BLT every 90 minutes, yeah. 90 seconds, 90 second. every yeah. minute and a half. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess you guys are popular. Yeah. Slightly. That's yeah. Jesse's gig. <laughs> cool. What I'm saying is that I, I moved from Montana here to leave the hunting and the fishing world that I was in to bring all the hunting and the fishing guiding knowledge that I had to a local food community and try to figure out a way to utilize my knowledge in the woods with the chef, and that's how I ended up with Jesse Griffith of Daidue. So Jesse and I have teamed up now, and we combine our skills in the woods and in the kitchen, and uh, we teach folks how to utilize meals and animals like this. That's the only reason I left the mountain. <laughs> so this is a wild Texas boar. It was trapped inside of a, a, a catch trap. Basically what's done is you, you have a confined trap most of the time they're in a circle. The mm -hmm. circle trap will have bait inside of it. The animals will go inside of it to get the bait. They will constantly go around this circle until basically you catch all of them that want to get into the bait. So this was one of the ones that we had caught inside of the circle trap. Once they're in the trap, they're not dispatched or, or harvested in the trap. They're loaded into a trailer, taken to a USDA certified facility where they're able to process them for retail sale. So the animals are shipped alive to the processing house. And then this is the byproduct of, of what we get to cook today. This cool. is 100% feral Texas pig. And how hot is it outside today? Uh, today we're about 101 <laughs> degrees out there. Behind this grill, 110. <laughs> With this, this is going to be, we're just going to have, like, have a set of tongs. Okay. Folks are going to be able to come up and just tear their own off of here. I think that with the other chefs that will be coming with their already right. prep foods, there will be other foods to supplement this, but this okay. is pretty much all we're going to serve today. First, we, we brine it for, um, I brine this for two days. That's what makes it perfect is the brine. Honestly. Salt water, a cup of salt for every gallon of water, and uh, sugar, and we did slices of orange, spices like uh, cardamom, and okay. star anise, and bay leaves. And then uh, let it sit in there in that water huh. for two days. two days. And then it that absorbs in there, so you don't have to season it enough. The mussel is seasoned throughout. Right? Like, and then just build kind of a low fire. This is lump charcoal, mm -hmm. uh, oak lump charcoal. No it's additives. It's just like pure charcoal. And then what we're doing is just adding twigs from uh, trees from around here. Fig, okay. pear, pecan, oak. We started on this side. We'll, Flip it, cook it on that side, just really slow. Really We're slow. It's going to take about six hours. 